How's it going everybody? I'm over here at the lake. Got to meet up, do some kayaking. Well, that was the plan today. I have my kayak ready to go. I can unload it right now, but I have something else that I've been wanting to try. There's lots of other ways. I got, I got a new vessel, I guess. What A new thing to fish off of. It's not a boat. It's not a kayak. It's something definitely different and it's not even in the back of my truck. It's in here. I can pick the whole thing up right here. Boom, right here. We got a, it's called Chasing Blue. It's a stand up paddle board inflatable so i forget what it weighs not that much you know 15 20 pounds inflatable stand-up paddleboard but it's a fishing paddleboard so i don't know how say how like durable they are when is it going to be useful it can you even stand on it how stable is it i mean i'm six four i'm pretty tall is it gonna be standing up do, do i want to take fishing stuff out there with me if i flip it i'm gonna lose everything but it's made for fishing so it's made to um put stuff in there so I'm gonna inflate it and I got a pump to inflate it. We're gonna put it out in the water and I really wanna test it out and I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna be something I'm gonna be able to use in my fishing arsenal as far as maybe uh, certain situations or or, play, or if I wanna, you know, rent a car or something like that and I need to throw it in the trunk, I can take it with me and still get it out in the water. So let's get it out and inflate it first. Ah, there's fish chasing bait over there. All right, I gotta try to catch a fish off this thing. But I'm not planning on getting wet. Like this, if I'm gonna bring fishing gear, you're not planning on tipping over. So first I gotta check out how stable it is. Good thing I had that pump. That pump held, made it pump up real fast. It's a 10 and a half foot. Comes with a paddle. If I feel stable on it, I'm gonna go get some fishing gear. Should be able to just stand. Uh -huh. uh. Gotta get my balance first. Not terrible. It actually tracks pretty good. Uh, do, is it stable enough to catch a fish off of? That's what we're gonna find out next. So I'm gonna get some fishing gear. Okay, here we go. Got my drink. Fishing poles. Let's see. And I got a couple extra lures in my pocket. We're gonna get out here. I gotta at least catch a fish. That's the goal. Just to catch a fish off this and kind of see how about getting comfortable with it and is it something I would take with me anywhere? I mean, it is com the compactness of it. You can't be beat pretty much. It's so uh, small, you can pack it up. But would I actually use it? So we'll find out right now. All right, let's get going. Let's go over here. We're gonna start with the ultralight. Just trying to catch anything we can catch. And then I might try throwing a spinning rod uh, or uh, throwing a spinner bait. I don't. This little seat here ain't bad if i had a better seat it actually wouldn't be horrible here i know they make like a little um chairs for these things i'm pretty sure oh let's just see what we can find here i almost want a regular paddle too I probably could bring my regular paddle with me and sit here and paddle it like a kayak Oh, fish on. Yes, we got a fish. We got a bluegill. I think we get something out of here. Okay, now this guy didn't really pull much, so there was not much of a struggle. One bluegill down. Let's see what else is around here. There's gotta be some other fish around these banks. Gotta be a lot of, I think there's a lot of panfish. Oh, whoa, there we are, there we are. Come on, take it. Yeah. Bluegill number two, a little bigger. You know what? This is actually pretty fun sitting on this thing like this. As long as the wind ain't blowing, I can imagine the wind is blowing, that's a whole nother story. But if I had no other way to get out in the water or I didn't have a truck or anything that I could haul a big kayak and I needed just something I could stick in my trunk or stick in the back seat, I'd definitely have one of these. Oh man, I had another hit right there. Especially, it especially depends on the situation. Like where you, you, you may have a spot, oh, I'm getting bites. 
I mean, they're all up in here. You may have a place that it's like, especially how light this thing is. I want to find an area where I might have to carry this in somewhere just to get to like a remote pond that I couldn't get anything else to. And since this thing only weighs like 15 pounds. Oh, yeah. Yes. You can do stuff like this. That's a nice little bass. Okay, he's pulling me around a little bit. Oh yeah, that'd be a keeper in the tournament. Close to it. He's 211 inches. And I didn't bring my phone with me because I didn't want to tip over. My phone's pretty much waterproof, but it's not like, I don't know. I don't want to take a chance on it. But if I got comfortable with this thing, I think I could have whatever I want to have on here. I'm sitting down, so sitting down is a lot more stable. All right, large mouth. Boom. Okay, let's not stop. I was going to switch to my kayak after I caught a few fish, but uh, this is too fun. Let's catch a few more. Let's go. Oh, one thirty six ounce jig head. 2.5 inch stroller. Now I'm going to follow. Just going to hook into a monster right here. It's got some current flowing up into it right now. I think it changes back and forth all the time. Water flowing out, water flowing in. Oh, there's all kinds of bait fish right here. Oh, I'm gonna get sucked through. Oh, uh, I guess I'm gonna go through because I'm getting sucked through already. Oh, I got a good fish. Oh, I'm gonna tip over. Oh. <laughs> This will be a bad spot to fall. Oh, it came up. It was like a little one pound largemouth. Oh, the current like going through here is pulling me through. The current changes a lot right through here. I've been here and fished and I got a, oh, had a bite. Oh, this looks cool back here. Next tournament I do on Chickamauga, I'm gonna probably fish this area. But I've never been on a kayak in here. I've always wanted to kayak it. I always never have. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> I saw this fish like hit at something. I cast it right over there and he hit it right away. That was funny. I didn't think he hit it that fast. He was just sitting there, whatever, wherever he blew up at it, at something, he just sit there and wait on it. A little large man. Uh, wind's blowing me now, kind of blow us back towards the way we came, hopefully. Ah, it hit right away. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of them in there. Got it. There's a bunch of bluegill in that, underneath that little tree. I want to catch a couple more. I've been out here for almost two hours on this um, paddleboard, so <laughs> it's. I thought it was going to be like on it and then back off like really quick. I'm like, ah, this is this is worthless or or not worth worth my worth my time. But I've actually been enjoying it. It's. it's um, I didn't bring a lot of lures, so it kind of makes it easier for me to just bring a couple things. 
I'm already thinking of all kinds of ways to uh, make it like ready for fishing. What all the things you can add to it and do to it. And I'm sure there's all kinds of videos on it out there. Snag right where this dead catfish is. I'm not sure what happened to that guy, but he's been eating pretty good and now I'm snagged. And we're back and now I gotta deflate it roll it back up put it in put it away and I'll give my final thoughts on it first off though it was real easy to stand on pretty solid uh, it's got these fins in the back that help track uh, that really makes a big difference uh, when you're paddling doesn't blow you all over the over the place but uh, it was actually better than I thought so I'm gonna give my little final reviews after I put everything back away I like doing things interesting and like making videos on things that are interesting. Now, you might not have thought this video was interesting, but to me it was very much so. Like that is a foldable stand-up paddleboard that I, it actually folds right up. It, it was easier to put back in the, in, in the package than a tent. It folds right up, let the air out, put it in the package, and it's ready to go. You slide it right in your trunk or uh, back seat or whatever you want to do. Um, now, is that the perfect fishing machine or is it going to replace my kayaks? No. But is there a situation where that could be just right? Yes. And um, every time I love trying any, uh, any kind of fishing thing, especially like uh, kayaks, stand up paddle boards, you know, maybe boat stuff. I'm not really into the boats, but any kind of little thing like that, especially non uh, powered, like man powered things, I just, you know, there's a, there's a place for it. It's just like every lure you have, there's a spot for it. So, anyways, um, maybe if somebody was looking at getting a paddle board, maybe you just want to do more paddling and you know you're not much into the fishing and or you just want to, you need a little light thing to carry that thing weighs like 15 pounds it's it's crazy now the, how light it is it's much more stable it tracks like as far as stays straight way better than i thought with those little um like shark fins that you put on it you add one onto it or it has two built in um it was solid standing on um i could see myself like really adding some stuff at a crate and maybe a uh, cooler this got places to strap it all down it's gonna be on there solid um, if it, I was over there, I was out on it for over two hours, like two and a half hours. And I really only got tired because I was sitting on the bucket and the bucket was kind of uncomfortable. If I had a seat on that bucket, I would probably would have stayed out a little longer. I'm just thankful for the people that sent me that, uh, to try out. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things I get sent as a YouTuber or get asked if I want to try. And I get asked if I want to try lots of things. And most of them it's no, I don't even reply, but this was like, yeah, I didn't want to try that. And it's something I can use again in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll leave information on uh, that stand-up paddleboard uh, in the video description. And maybe you're looking into that, and maybe you're not, I don't know, but uh, I was glad I got tried out.